weird to be shooting this without my remote control. I realize how spoiled I am. It's really pissing me off that it's somewhere buried in my suitcase. And I'm just not willing to look for it right now. So, anyway, I thought I would, since I said at the end of my last vlog that I would do this. Um, so many of you guys have been writing to me about what are good DVDs and what do I like for working out at home and so on and so forth. And so I'm just going to do it. This vlog is going to be specifically about workouts I've loved to all the workouts that I've loved to all the DVDs that I've loved. Some of them I don't really do right now and it's not necessarily because um, they're bad or I don't like them. It's just some, you go through certain phases. Like, um, I've definitely gone through phases where I worked out only at the gym. And then I kind of went through a phase specifically too, when I was going through the whole changes with my body with perimenopause a few years ago. Um, that's when I really, I didn't want to be at the gym, um, because I had that horrible, you know, skin condition that was on my chest and my shoulders and whatever. So it's kind of after I had started training with Jay, then I started just working out at home. Um, but working out at home, um, for those of you that have only always worked out at a gym, don't be mistaken and think that you can only get a kick-ass hard workout at the gym. That is completely not true. And I don't want to discourage anybody that's just getting started this year to think that, oh, I don't have a gym membership, you know, so I can't, I can't get any results. That, that's not true. There's absolutely some great things that you can do at a gym that you can't do at home. If you don't have treadmills, if you don't have a cardio machine, um, those are things you can only do at a gym. At my gym, you know, I like to go to Lifetime. I'm kind of spoiled there. Um, I love to go into the sauna after my workout. I love to go. I still sound like such a man. love to go in the steam room. Um, those are things not necessarily that have anything to do with your workout, but I digress, as usual. Um, and then there's some, some great machines, right? Smith machines, um, you know, uh, free motion. Um, there's all kinds of great machines with, with weights that you might not have at home. But that said, people have been getting in great shape without having, you know, fancy gym equipment. Um, and don't be fooled. It's, it's really a matter of your attitude, your effort, and your creativity. So you can get a, you know, a kick-ass workout, cardio, weights, yoga, whatever, at home. And, and I don't care where you live. If you live in a very small dorm room right now, if you live in a huge house, you know, we all have limitations. I live in a condo. I don't have a basement. I can't wait for my next place because when I get a house, I'm going to make sure, you know, that I have a, a basement so that I can have a home gym. I really want to make sure that I have a home gym in my next place, which is going to be nice. Um, in the past, I was always like, no, if I really want to do, you know, stuff, I'm going to do it at the gym. I like to work out at the gym. I love it. But there's also something to be said about great workouts at home and having some some good key integral pieces of, equi of equipment for your home gym. But that's not what this is about. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I've got two <laughs> boxes of DVDs for my home gym experience, if you will. <clears throat> And, and one of them is the stuff that I don't use right now, um, and then one of them is, is the stuff that I tend to use, because I certainly, in, in the beginning of, of this year, in 2013, I got, I've gotten much more organized, much more, I hate how I sound, uh, much more proactive in planning out my week and making sure that I have balance. You know, so I know when I'm in town, I know when I'm gonna be at Lifetime with Michael, what we're training, when I'm gonna be, um, you know, if there's a snowstorm or whatever, what am I gonna pick out of here that's gonna make sense for the body parts that I need to train and, and, and how am I balancing and how am I making sure that I don't do the same four workouts again and again and again, which has definitely been a tendency of mine in the past. Um, it's definitely been a tendency of mine to not plan and then just to go look at my workouts and go, oh, I really love that. And I just keep doing the same thing over and over again. I do the same thing with food. I get into a food habit where I love something and I keep making it again and again and again, and then I get sick of it and I get bored. So really working on diversity here. But let's go through, I'm gonna go through the stuff that I'm using right now and that I'm loving, and then I'm gonna go through stuff that I'm not really using. But the reason I'm gonna go through that <coughs> 
is because, excuse me, there's really a lot of great workouts that I think might work for some of you. And again, I just want to say that a lot of the stuff that I don't do now, it's not because I tried it and I hated the workout and I think it's horrible. I wouldn't tell you about that. There's just some that's it's not my style right now and there's a reason. I'll get to that in a second. But so this is my <coughs> sorry. This is my um my box of DVDs that I now keep in my bedroom so that when I get up in the morning I do cardio. Um, typically first thing in the morning on an empty stomach um, and so this is my this is not just cardio this is these are all the workouts that I have for home but I will say most of the time when I'm doing a workout at home um, it's going to be my, my fun cardio stuff um, what I do at the gym is you know my my heavy heavy weight training <clears throat> and so on um, so let me see if I can get this organized so I can tell you in a little bit excuse me, of a reasonable order. Now, um, I'm going to put this here so that this is in order. Now, you guys have heard me talk about Kathy Friedrich, and I told you, for those of you that are maybe new to watching my videos and falling asleep to them, I have been a fan of Kathy Friedrich for years and years and years. When I first started working out, 15 years ago maybe, it was Tybo. I found out about Tybo, which I do have three DVDs from Tybo that are the original, um, these used to be on VHS tape. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Pisses me off. Really upsetting. Um, these used to be on DVD, excuse me, these used to all be on uh, VHS, but these are the original Tybo Advanced Live. Um, Tybo, he came out with, you know, like Tybo, and then it was Tybo Advanced, and then it was Tybo Advanced Live, and it was a series of 12, I think, VHS tapes, and a lot of you probably still have them because they're that good that people will actually save the VHS tapes and save their VCR just because these were so good. Now, that said, some of the <coughs> best clips from them are on DVD, so you can buy these on Amazon. Best stuff. I just love, this was... This was Tybo and Billy Blanks' best, and I'm a huge kickboxing fan. So I love these, and I always go back to them. So I started off working out with, with Tybo, and then I started doing those, the firm workouts, um, because that was kind of the first thing that got me into weight training. Um, and then those were great, but the thing that got annoying about the firm workouts is that, you know, every time they came out with something new, then they were like, oh, you know, here's our new set of workouts with this new step, and you always had to buy new equipment. So then your house became this ridiculous assortment of different steps and, and things that ended in master and, and whatever. And their, their workouts were great, but you needed so many funky, firm tools that it just got to be old. In the, in the beginning, when they first made their um, first firm videos, which like I think like the first eight tapes are now available on, on DVD, they are excellent, excellent workouts. And if you can get past the whole high cut lycra nude pantyhose leg warmer thing you'll realize these are still excellent excellent workouts but once i kind of progressed through those i wanted something more hardcore and that's when i started finding kathy friedrich now i don't know if you can see this but this will show you these are all kathy dvds you see this so these are all kathy dvds which actually is not all of the ones that I want. She's kind enough to be sending me <laughs> some more of the ones that are my favorites that have either gotten lost in a move or something. I think somebody might have stole them. But I have been a fan of Kathy Friedrich. I found her online years after I did firm workouts. And um, she's, the, the cool thing about Kathy is all of her workouts are advanced. I think she has a few that are, are beginners, but she's great because the frustrating thing for me about Billy Blanks, I've said this before, he's awesome, but then he, you know, you got so excited and you were doing these great um, advanced live workouts and then all the new workouts that came out were for beginners and he goes so slow in teaching a move that literally, like, I could go out here, make an omelet, eat it, come back and he'd still be going, okay, and step out here, put your leg out here and lift it and I'm like ah, ah, ah. when you work out you want to work out you it I mean there's something to be said about instruction 
and being able to that once you get it, the next time you do that 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 um, DVD, you can not fast forward through. What's the word I'm looking for? Like with Les Mills, there's parts where they they're instructing you, but now I know what I'm doing, so then I'll just add some some um, faster kicks or punches or whatever. But with the Billy Blank stuff, I was like, damn, boy, would you stop? And it's like so slow that I was, I found myself making up all my own workout. And I'm like, why am I even doing this DVD? Because all it is is instruction. All of Kathy's stuff is all advanced. And I'm telling you this, I don't make any money from sending you guys there um, to buy her stuff. She is, full disclosure, on my board of advisors um, for Fifth Influential because I'm such a huge fan. But um, I can tell you this, I don't know that I have ever, ever, ever seen, borrowed, bought, whatever, a Kathy DVD that is not incredible. Not to mention the fact, I might have to do two, two videos here to go through all these um, um, DVDs and explain stuff to you. <coughs> um, not to mention the fact, not only does she give you a workout DVD, so in my experience, you know, you go buy a workout DVD at Target or something, it's 10, 15 bucks. You know, if you go and you buy it at Collage Video, which is where I usually would go, um, because you can preview everything and see ratings of other people's um, opinions of the workouts, which is two key things, I think, when you're um, finding out about workouts. Um, <coughs> Still have a cold, sorry. <clears throat> the great thing about this is <clears throat> all of Kathy's DVDs will come with like a major workout, right? So this is Muscle Max, which is full body weight training. Um, it's just, it's absolutely awesome. Um, she uses a step, but it's more like a step for, you know, can you see that in the back? You know, like those are leg presses with, with the bands, which are killer. But each workout will have the regular workout. It'll have a brief instructional. And then she has mix and match and premixes. So mix and match means that every single move will be listed almost like a table of contents. Contents, So you can go back and say, okay, you know what? I want to do this, I want to do this, and I want to go through that leg thing three times. And then I want to go back here or, or whatever. Then she has her own premixes where she'll have like, so this is full body, upper and lower body, and core. And then she'll have a premix that's like, you know, standing legs only, lying floor work only. Um, butt blast, or you know, it should have like four, four or five different premixes. All of her DVDs are like that. So not only can you mix and match, um, you're not stuck doing just one DVD. There's all of these different premixes. I have to be honest with you. I really didn't start doing the premixes until lately, and then I realized then she has some of these like bonus things on there that aren't even in the original workout. So then there will be like a bonus 15 minute ab burn, bonus you know focus, hard, leg stuff, whatever. So her stuff is more expensive, but you get, I'm going to just say, a hundred times the, the, the workout value. And not to mention, they are, I, I dare you to buy one of her videos and tell me you don't like it. And I don't care if you buy one that's 10 years old. I mean, this one was produced, let me see, 2005. So this is eight years old. I, this is one of my go-to ones all the time. This is some of her new ones. I haven't even opened this one up yet. You know why? Because it's a little bit more step. But now that I have a better attitude about learning things, uh, complex choreography, for me, it's more complex if it has more than one step in it, um, I will do it. Um, this, like some of these, this is some of her older stuff. Excuse me. Um, I, I love high step training. So you use a really high step. I don't know if you can tell. From the DVDs on here. All of the previews, by the way, you can go to Kathy.com or just look up Kathy on YouTube and you'll see previews, like almost 10 minute previews of all of her stuff. So you can really get an idea. Can you see the really high step she uses? So this is a combination of like cardio weights, cardio weights, cardio weights, really high impact. Um, this is another one that I love. Kick punch and crunch is kickboxing. And then there's legs and glutes. Legs and glutes, freaking awesome. Um, you do a lot of stuff like that. You've got ankle weights on, kicks. Lower body blast, another one of my favorites. Uh, this woman is just, she comes up with little different moves that hit your butt, I, and I'm telling you. I just had my first assessment with my 
trainer who was like, what's, you know, basically in a good way, it's like going, what's going on with the butt? Your butt is like amazing as far as progression. Um, and I really do attribute, there's, there's stuff you can do at the gym, but Kathy's stuff that she does with um, fire walkers and lower body and butts and guts, which I'll point out to you in a second, seriously, and you will curse her in a good way. Um, this is high step challenge. So there's high step um, training, and then this was like a newer version, again, using a really high step. Um, oh, those are the triceps push-ups that are <coughs> killer. Crossfire, this is more, um, I'd say circuit, but look at these, okay, look at these premixes on one DVD. I'm kind of a huge fan, as you can tell. Can you see this on the back? Can you see that? So, um, there's a premix of Crossfire plus Core, Crossfire Extreme. Then she has Time Saver. So, like the whole workout, if you do the whole workout, it's 55 minutes. Then there's a 10 minute bonus core workout. Then there's a bonus low impact cardio Tabata workout for four minutes. So if you were to do the whole thing there, that'd be 55 plus 15. So that would be 55, 70 minutes. Um, but then you have time savers. So then I'm sure most of these are like half an hour, 40 minutes. So there's two premixes and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 time savers, low impact Tabata, Firewalker Tabata, Plyo Tabata, Plyo plus Firewalker Tabata, Triple Tabata, Fitness Blast plus Firewalker Tabata, Circuit Blast, Fitness Blast slash Plyo Tabata slash Core, less impact and one with no Tabatas. Seriously. One DVD has like 700 combinations. Um, this was a series that she did, and yes, since I'm already at 16 minutes, I'm gonna have to do two videos, typical. Um, this is a series that she came out with, I'm trying to think of the name of this series, but um, it was, um, I think it's all cardio. She came out with all cardio, because everybody was like, you know, your weight workouts are great, but we really want cardio. Sometimes you just want a day when it's just cardio. So she's got MMA boxing, which I like. Um, this one is just ab circuits, which is, I, I have to say I haven't done this as much in the past, but I've been avoiding abs, that's my thing, so not doing that anymore. Um, love boot camp. Boot camp and muscle endurance, um, really nice as you can see on that muscle endurance, she uses the really high step. Um, boot camp is killer. I actually haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna have to need to do that. Um, this is MMA kickbox, as you can see, a lot of times when I've done a DVD, I write my notes on it with a labeler. So I can remember, you know, oh, this was a lighter cardio. I did 300 calories in, looks like it's a 50 minute workout. Um, this is Circuit Blast, which is again, more cardio, but you're using maybe one weight and medicine ball. Uh, travel Fit, um, this is using only a band for folks that travel a lot. This, I can't tell you, I've used hundreds of thousands of billions of trillions of times. Um, hit workouts, there are three different hit workouts. I think they're all about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. They're amazing. One of them is a 30-30, where you go 30, 30 minutes work, um, 30 minutes rest. The next one's 40-20, where you're working 40 minutes, you rest 20 seconds, 40, you know what I mean. And then the other one is a double wave pyramid, where you work your way up the pyramid and down the pyramid. I honestly cannot tell you how many times I've done this. This is absolutely one of my eight billion top, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I've done it a trillion times. Um, in fact, I just did it. Did I do it last night? Yes, I did. But it's like an hour and 10 minutes or whatever. And then there's all these premixes. I think she has like six different premixes on it. And then there's, of course, you know, a bonus abs on there. I never used to look at all these premixes. I'm just starting to do it now because it's, it's really cool. Sometimes I might be like, like last night, had a snowstorm, and I knew that I needed to do lower body and I wanted to do some cardio, so like, how am I gonna mix it up? High reps, I think you guys get what that's all about. Really high reps, just totally burning it out. C cardio core circuit, this is um, no equipment, if I'm remembering correctly, but it's really working your core and really getting your heart rate up there. MMA fusion, kind of boxing, kickboxing, a whole bunch of stuff. I remember liking this. Yeah, there's some dudes in this too, which is interesting. So those are all of my cart, or excuse me, all of my Kathy plus, almost 20 minutes. Then she's just sent me, as you've seen in one of my last, her brand new X train with a spin video, which I'm telling you. I'm going to get a spin bike for my house because I have yet to do spin and everybody that tells me they do spin tells me they absolutely love it, so I want it. 
Um, I did do, <coughs> for the first time the other day, um, so the first video I did was Cardio Leg Blast, which was amazing, of course. But this, if you can see, has nine discs in it. And then, just let me tell you again, I mentioned this in the other one, 140 premix workouts. I'm just going to do a dramatic pause there. Think about that. She is outrageous. And then it comes with this, and outrageous in a good way, it comes with this um, entire book that explains, you know, number one, who's in, who's in all the videos. So there's guys and girls in this. Um, it shows what each disc is what equipment you need, and then it, it has a description of like cardio leg blast, you know, so that I can, you can get an idea of what it is before you do it, but then there's just all of these premixes and, oh, let me tell you, I was just doing this move. See that? That is, um, what does she call it? Low, uh, one legged, no, it's not one legged squat. It's just a way to do, I mean, that will work your ass like you have just no idea. Um, anyway, she is amazing. I just cannot get over how many, how extensive this is. I mean, can you see all of this? This is just all details about all of the workouts. Um, and then different options. She's, she's come up with like week five, what do you do? And, and, and then which workout, which, so that you're, she's, She's basically designed a 90-day program if you want to do that, and then you can make up your own. Um, there's, you know, it's just amazing. Um, I cannot say enough good things. So obviously, very biased, um, but I've been a huge fan of hers well before she ever got involved with my organization, and I'm so lucky to have her. So she's absolutely one of my favorites. Um, shoot, I wonder if I should just wrap this up really quick. Um, I think I, I think I think I need to go to part two of this, and then I'll do part three is what I don't use anymore. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So that's the end of part one for um, home workout videos that I use currently. So stay tuned.